everybody, thanks for watching. Walmart sells a BRB, a Be Ready bag, and today I want to take a look at it, see what's inside, and uh, get our thoughts on it. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at it. The, uh, the bag itself is just an inexpensive backpack. It does have reflective material on it and some pull strings. The outer pocket is completely empty, uh, but it is an extra pocket if you need it. Uh, you sling it across your back and uh, wear it like a backpack if you want to. I've kind of been through the contents of this uh, a little before, so uh, not exactly how it was when I first got it. It's got a water, water bottle that you can uh, put water in. Nutritional and safety data for the stuff that's in, inside the bag. It's got a first aid kit. Does have the contents uh, on the inside the, the bag. Pressure bandages. Angular bandage. Some safety pins. I think that's medical tape. Examination gloves. Some second grader scissors. Scissors. Some alcohol prep pads. A couple of band aids. Uh, sterile gauze. So not a not a bad med kit. For, you know, keeping in mind that it's for emergencies. Uh, got a flashlight in there. It's an LED flashlight. There are batteries included in the kit. Uh, we'll get those out in a few minutes. Um, kind of a flimsy flashlight, but again, this is you know for emergencies. Some facial tissue or you know, I guess you can wipe whatever you need to. Three emergency ponchos. They are really, really lightweight. Um, you kind of and see there, uh, look at those snacks. They're very lightweight, but it would keep the rain off. Three filter masks. Some leather gloves. They, uh, they feel lightweight. Uh, but if you didn't have gloves, that would be good to have. A, a tube kit that um, is kind of like if you take a trash bag and cut it open on both ends. Uh, that's kind of what a tube tin is. This one is triangular. Mm. Not bad. I mean, it, again, you know, if it. If you didn't have anything, you needed some, some shelter uh, quickly uh, to keep the elements off of you in an emergency, it would do the trick. Three emergency blankets. A writing pad. A Yima, I guess I'm pronouncing that right, uh, AM FM radio. Uh, it is, it takes batteries, uh, either standard batteries or rechargeable batteries. 
Uh, I don't know what the quality of the radio is, but we'll open it up and see. Eh, very, uh, if you dropped this from, um, while you were standing up, if you dropped it on a rock or something like that, it would break. Uh, it would break. It's very, very flimsy. Some rope. I'm not sure how much uh, rope it says there is. Emergency food rations. Uh, it says they have a three year shelf life, uh, 1200 calories per day for three people. Uh, and what these are are simply lifeboat rations. They're, uh, they come in uh, packets and each one of the packets is sealed uh, to make like a, a, a chewy bar or something of that nature. And uh, that's, a, that's essentially what that is. Uh, that's that's good to have. There. Some water purification tablets. Three uh, light sticks. tool it's got a uh, little pliers on there and a little knife the knife is uh, not really sharp some other little stuff on there that you may or may not ever use rasp or file Little Phillips head, I think. So, a little multi tool. If you didn't have, uh, you know, if you didn't have anything else, uh, it might help you a little bit. And, uh, a whistle, and let's see. It's a five in one emergency whistle. Includes a whistle, a compass, a signaling mirror a uh, storage container and a flint. Uh, the flint is uh, on the outside of it there. There is the compass. Uh, it's not very good quality. Huh? Uh, there's the signaling mirror and the cat. So uh, it works. Three bottles of water, uh, eight ounces each. Some playing cards. <laughs> Some lifeboat matches. The striker on the matches is uh, on the top and on the bottom. The reason I'm doing this, we uh, actually tried to light one the other day and it didn't work out so well for me. Uh, and these are dry conditions. So this one's, uh, well, you kind of see what it took to get that lit in there. Some hand sanitizer. Uh, that that is good good to have. 
batteries for the flashlight and for the radio. Uh, also uh, an ink pen for the writing pad. I'm going to go ahead flashlight All right. well <coughs> excuse me it's a uh, <laughs> it's not very bright um, but you know, it is it is a flashlight, uh, and in the bag. So uh, that's it. All the stuff that comes in the kit. So there you have it, the Be Ready bag at Walmart. At the time of this video, it's fifty dollars. I was a little disappointed with the quality of the contents. The bottom line is, I think that if you don't have anything, this is better than that. So $50 might be a good investment for a little peace of mind. I, I think that you would be better served getting, uh, you know, the same types of things maybe, but uh, higher quality and maybe you build that over time. So it's really up to you to decide. If I had to recommend the Be Ready Bag for someone you know like a loved one I would tell them no and I would build one for them or help them choose the, the right stuff uh, to go in the in the bag the the things that they had yeah I, I might add a few things uh, I might have taken a few things away but the bottom line is the things that were in the bag were, were okay it's the quality that I'm concerned about if you drop your flashlight and it breaks in the first 15 minutes or so you've got nothing so a good quality flashlight I can't, you know, I can't express how important that kind of stuff is. Uh, the rain poncho, uh, it might, you know, it'll, it'll keep me uh, uh, reasonably dry and uh, so, uh, you know, protected against the elements in that regard. It, it, it is better than nothing, but I think that over time you can build a much better bag and uh, one that, that you can really count on if the chips are down in an emergency. Thanks again for watching and 